Okay, guys, this video is all about when rebuilding your nitro engine. I have a nitro engine that's a part over here. So this thing has a lot of damages. So I want to show you a few things and um, assembly of the engine. If you make a small mistake, it could destroy your engine. So first of all, this piston is damaged. And this I showed in another video. This piston died just because of uh, this litter pin right here. Um, this is what held the, the, the rod. It, it was a pin retainer there that came out and then it scraped the whole engine all around. Okay, it scraped the engine all around. And also uh, the the sleeve inside, it damaged, it caused some serious uh, scraping, scoring. Scoring would be those light mount, those stuff is normal, but there's serious uh, cuts inside there. Um, you can see there's a, uh, let me show you if you can see, camera won't pick up that easy. Okay. You see those uh, three lines right there? That's what I'm talking about. So the camera doesn't see it, but it's really, really serious. Look at right there. Um, those are serious damages right there. And, and and look at the piston. The piston got some serious... This will lose serious amount of compression. So the connecting rod has play in it. I showed that. It, it's making a... In there, it's wobbly. So it's a play between the rod, that they're, they're not the connecting rod. It's play between the rod in here, the letter pin, and the piston. So I could reuse a rod, but I am not going to reuse a rod. And this thing made a hell of a noise, bouncing it up and down. Other than that, everything was good. So to rebuild this engine, you want to pay attention. First of all, when you're putting your sleeve in, uh, this little pin right here, and, and the sleeve has a notch there. They got a match. So the exhaust port is facing towards exhaust and uh make sure you change your bearings and uh you see if you're connecting this connecting rod right there there's a hole down here there's a hole down here small tiny hole right there and there's one more hole in there a lot of people won't show you this one there's one more hole over this on the same side okay that's for the oil to enter into this bearing to lubricate the journal in there the journal is the, the part where the piston rod um sits in there that's the little guy right there. So it would oil that, and the, and the top hole would oil the, the connecting rod and the rod, the pin in here. So it would lubricate that. So this has to, these holes has to face uh, on the side of the cut opener of the piston. And to put this piston in, you got to put this piston, this, this connecting rod that with the hole has to be facing like that. Okay, so the, this, this cut up open area has to face like that. If you put it the other way around, your engine's gonna die very soon. It's probably not even gonna run properly. It's probably not gonna perform properly because this also allows the fumes uh, to enter from the bore of the crank. And uh, that's the port right there. Uh, so if you put it the other way around, it's not gonna get no lubrication because oil and gas, fuel, nitro comes in. And the first thing it does, it hits that and it, it catches it and it goes inside it. And if it's the other way around, it's not gonna lubricate properly. Okay, and then uh, this is a Traxxas TRX3 engine. So if you're rebuilding this, make sure that seal is there. Make sure that seal is right there, that orange seal you see right there. And uh, a lot of people, I've seen people put this the wrong way. It can fit. I don't know how it's going to perform, but these two little notches, these two little notches, these cut up open notches here, has to be facing up like that, okay? It has to go in just like that. It has to go in just like that, okay? It can't go the other way around. It's got to go in like that. And they would sit according to, you see how it got the notches up there inside the board? So that's how it would go, okay? So those are the only thing you need to pay attention to. And then you do have that little um, spacer right there. So um, to rebuild this, that's how you're going to do it. And then the head does have a head gasket down there, which sits here perfectly. When you're attaching the head gasket and the head, make sure that things, a lot of times it would come to the side a little bit. And it might not if it sits properly in there, down here. But if it doesn't sit properly down there, it's going to probably cut it, damage it. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like. See you guys in the next video.